Hello, viewers. It's James, the content creator for Natural State yeah, Transparency. And I have a VIP distinguished guest in the vehicle this evening. We have Miss Cindy, Officer Cindy. Of course, she is retired. Uh, former officer with the Little Rock Police Department. She is riding with us. I've known her for a good long time. We're good old friends. Say hello, Miss Cindy. Hello. All right. And we are sitting in Conway, Faulkner County. Uh, we are going to roll around here. I wasn't sure if we were going to Little Rock or not. So when I titled this live stream earlier, I said Little Rock Conway. Well, no, we're doing Conway. So I'm going to get your comments pulled up in just a moment. And then we're going to get to rolling around and seeing what we can see out here. Hope everybody is having a good evening. Here, I'll give you this in a second here. Let me turn this on. Give me just a minute, folks, to get the comments pulled up, and then we'll have them. Come on. I need to go to my page. Let me go to my page real quick. View your channel. There we go. NST Live Conway. Here we go. Right here. This old laptop's going to need a minute. It'll put, it'll, it'll, okay. you can, you can sometimes rest here if you get tired of holding no. it. But the chat, the chat ought to pull up. We've already got 54 likes. You got 140, look at that. <laughs> I love it. Let me, let me, let me see if we can't figure out why that's not. There it goes. There it goes. See, it just takes a minute. So you're going to have the chat is right, kind of like right there. Let me scoot this down. Yeah. Of course, the most recent down there. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we are live in Conway. We are glad that you are here with us this evening. So we are monitoring the Arkansas State Police Troop A, which serves Faulkner County as well. I'll put on Conway's uh, fire department frequency here in a few minutes once we get to rolling. We've been kind of listening to see what the state troopers were up to tonight. We've been up here in the call. I got a name for you. Go ahead. Last name Scott, S-C-O-T-T. -T. So if anybody's wondering where we're at right now, we're on Ingram Road coming up onto Oak Street, which is kind of the midtown section of Conway. And I'm happy to report that I have re-upped on gift cards. So we have some gift cards to hand out this evening to our less fortunate folks out here that may be in need. So again, I'm glad everybody has joined us. I see that we've got 200 in the chat Attention right now. Crossing. Oh, let's turn you off. I don't want to hear that. in here and turn you off so we don't have to be interrupted. Two eleven. <laughs> Let me 
isn't it great? So, I've known Cindy, Miss Cindy, for a long time, and I can remember so many nights down in the Little Rock River Market running into you and uh, another dear friend of mine who was working, and you know. A lot of people don't realize how community-oriented policing is in general. Um, you know, they sometimes watch these cop shows and they only see the action. They don't see uh, the, the the human aspect of policing in general. And you know, you you're you're by and large one of the most recognizable officers that's ever worked down in the Little Rock River Market. Everybody down there knew you. Uh, your your presence was felt at all the hotels, all of the uh, uh, restaurants and, and drinking establishments, you know, everybody down the river market knew who you were and um, you didn't have to ask, everybody knew you as, as, as Officer Cindy. They just knew you as Officer Cindy. And, you know, um, your your presence has been missed since you left. I will say Aww, that. Thank I, you. I definitely um, have very fond memories of you working and and you know you you you, Caution, you work you work down there with a heart you know you weren't I down like there oh, yeah. trying to just you know bust everybody for whatever you were you were really down there as as a peacekeeper and and you were also trying to uh, show folks a little bit of humanity and that's why I was just so tickled that you you decided to uh, join us this evening on this uh, broadcast so again i'm glad you're here and um thank you for having me oh yeah i'm i'm just glad you 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 have come out of retirement to ride in the car <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we'll see something good tonight you got a lot of folks saying hey to you there hello guys it's nice to be here i haven't seen James in quite a while. I know, that's we, right. We keep up with each other once every couple of years, but he called and said, do you want to go? And I said, shoot, yeah. Yeah. I say, we, you know, we're, we're doing these live streams now, so it's just, uh, it's a good thing to get out here and drive around and see what's happening in your town here. I love Conway. Oh, yeah. I've done a live stream here before as many of my viewers that are watching tonight already know and we got out on foot over here at the Faulkner County Courthouse and I showed them where the old jail used to be yeah. on top of the courthouse mm -hmm. there was a there was a jail on top of the courthouse before they even built the one next to it and interestingly I got to take a field trip there when I was like in fifth grade it was like a long time ago. Oh, Dr. Rook's office used to be right there. Or <laughs> Dr. Rook, anyway. <laughs> so we're going to cruise down Prince Street. We're going to head from the downtown area of Conway kind of to the west side of Conway. We'll see what there is to see out here. What's everybody saying on there, Cindy? Uh, let's see the We've got hot springs yeah watching oh nice well, we're gonna have folks from all over the world tuning in for this everybody's welcoming each other good yeah this is a good place for you to be at and you know uh, i will tell you i like to give this disclaimer at least once per broadcast that you know you know, even with the experience that's in this vehicle, neither one of us are going to try to act in any sort of law enforcement capacity. We're not out here to, to to try to get anybody in trouble or anything like that. We're simply rolling around and just seeing what there is to see. If if we can show you a thing or two, we'll do that. But, you know, I just want to make that clear that we are listening and monitoring the radio, but we're not trying to act in any kind of law enforcement capacity tonight. But we want to show you a thing or two, and that's important. Maybe we can talk about it. 
We've got people from Tulsa, oh, Leachville, cool. Arkansas, St. Cloud, Minnesota, South Africa. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Hello. Hello, guys. Yeah. Welcome to our corner of the world here in Conway, Arkansas. Clinton, Arkansas. Memphis. Yeah. And we get a lot of Memphis. You know, there are there are neighbors to the to the east. Eureka, California. Hello. Glad you are with us tonight. Kansas City. Yeah. Beaumont, South Carolina. Oh, Buford. I'm sorry. Buford, South Carolina. Oh, Buford, South Carolina is a Marine Corps town. Yeah. Paris Island is uh, from there, right right next to it. Yeah, you don't want to commit crimes in, in, in Buford, uh, South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that. Malvern. Phoenix, Arizona. Canada. Yep, Conway High's coming up. You're right. Yeah, we're passing. We're actually passing the high school now. We're going to be coming up on uh, Salem Road here in just a minute. Now, you know, Cindy and I were talking right before we went live, and I didn't mention this to her. I, I mentioned that I had lived in Conway, and I was here for seven years. I was here from 88 until 1994, and uh, those were some uh, developmental years in Conway as, the, as uh, a lot of folks were moving out of the Little Rock Metro up here to Conway, and Salem Road was about the city limits at the time when and you it got was Yeah, I was going to say I tro I I can remember as a child going through past Salem Road was nothing but dairy land. There was milk cows and mm -hmm. farmland and the Westcon Volunteer Fire Department was way out there, but that was it. There was nothing out there. Now it's all developed. You know, it's uh it's interesting to come here to Conway uh for me anyway. Uh being as seeing as how I used to be a resident here and you know I have these memories of what it used to be and then you know just driving around here now it's just it's just exploded with growth and you know they call this the city of roundabouts yes. so for the folks that don't know across the world uh, Conway Arkansas if you if you're familiar with the roundabout well Conway has heavily invested in roundabout development <laughs> they're all over the place some folks don't know how to operate a vehicle in a roundabout either I will tell you that someone said is the radio dead no we're listening to it's it scanning I've got it turned down but I am going to turn on the Conway Fire Department I don't have that on so we can now, I will tell you that we can't monitor Conway PD. Uh, their frequencies are encrypted, but we can monitor the fire department. So if there's a major incident that happens in Conway, a lot of times, I've, I've mentioned this in the past, that you know, for, for an area that doesn't have uh, police frequencies that you can monitor, you can monitor the fire department because on major incidents, typically fire and police will respond together, especially on your violent crimes and stuff like that. So we're going to pull over for a second, and I'm going to work on getting Conway on here right quick. Someone asked, how do you get the frequencies for the state troopers? Well, um, the, you have to have a scanner that is capable of picking up digital signals nowadays. The analog scanners from way back when do not work for listening to the Arkansas State Police. Now, I will tell you viewers, if you're even our local Arkansans all the way to uh, our folks international, if you want to monitor state police radio traffic, a lot of times if you'll go to, and this is not a paid 
sponsorship, so I just will throw this out there. Go to broadcastify.com. You can download the app or you can use your laptop. It will it has a database of hosts that that upload their video or their uh, they're in the area where they can intercept the signal with their scanner and they upload it to the internet. So go to broadcastify.com. You can download the app on your phone and you can click into Arkansas and some of those are available. Little Rock Troop A is on there. 250. Oh, that's cool. I'm the host for Troop C. So I actually take my scanner when I'm not out here driving around. I take my scanner and I upload for Troop C, State Police, and I do for Jonesboro PD. I have two scanners. So we have Conway Fire now on here as well as State, and we'll just monitor and see if there's anything that pops off. I will tell you it's a Saturday night here, so you know, typically uh, the weekends have a little bit more action. I guess you would probably agree with that, wouldn't you, Cindy? I do agree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm usually in bed by 10 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Now, while, while we're monitoring the radio, you know, be, be listening for that, that magical code that most of y'all know. You're listening for a 1037. If you hear it go out, that means as troopers are in pursuit. I mean, it is Saturday night. And pursuits typically happen on Saturday night somewhere in Troop A. Go ahead. 1037. We put the bow out there. Turn it. 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 Turn it
quickly. I got to pull over and start pushing some buttons on the scanner though, so because I, I messed something up. But so far, we've been driving on the major arteries here in Conway. We're not seeing much. There's not uh, any accidents or really anybody out. Uh, we may try to give away a gift card if we can find somebody in need here in just a few minutes. Oh. When are we going to do a hat giveaway? They, These folks love, I love it when I give away a hat. Oh, cool. So, now... I know this is a weird question, but did you bring a purse? No, you know, you I never. Oh no, it's a okay. Purse. It's yeah. okay. That's all right. I carry my phone. Okay. Well, we'll have a contest. How many folks we got in here? Almost three hundred. This is a two eighty one. Two sixty one. Two sixty one. Okay. Well. Yeah. Why don't we do a contest? I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay. So we're going to do a contest to win a free natural state transparency hat. But I got to make it fair. So, and I need to work on the scanner too. So we'll do all that here in just a second. The last time I was in Conway, we uh, saw a traffic stop here at the come and go. So we're going to pull in their parking lot for a minute. Lots of hearts. Good. Thank you for the hearts. I already know they're gonna they they really liked the contest. That's that's a fun thing to do. So we're gonna we're gonna do that here in just a second. Amber said we need a hat. My daughter is the queen of hats. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna park right here so you can admire those cheap gas prices if you're in California or our international viewers, yeah, three fifteen a gallon currently here in Conway, and that's, I, well, I think that's a little high personally, but I mean, you know. All right, let me figure out what we got going on on this radio because I hit a button or something. It said video froze. Maybe they thought it froze. Most people are happy that the hats are amazing. Yeah, cool. Okay. Good. So gas is three fifty in Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. Well, you know, we're fortunate here in Arkansas. We've got a we've got pipelines that crisscross this state coming from the Houston, Texas area and Louisiana where they have refineries down near the coast. And those pipelines come through Arkansas on their way north. So we're lucky that we can tap into those pipelines and, and we have cheaper fuel by virtue of access. Um, of course, that doesn't apply if you're, you know, in the Rocky Mountains or something like that. You don't have a pipeline that comes through there, so... <clears throat> Four seventy nine in Vegas. Eee. Ouch. Uh, we do not need to pull her down to the next. She's got part of her and that's dragging the ground. Okay. Her remove it. Let's see if that's going to cooperate. Four. Hope so. I didn't bring the proper laptop to program the scanner, so if. I screwed it up. It might just be screwed up. I hope not. All right. Well, let's do a contest, shall we? I know everybody's looking forward to that. So, where is my water? Okay. So, the last time, this is a little game I used to play when I was a jailer. And see, Cindy doesn't know anything about that. So let me explain to the viewers that are watching right now. This is a little game I used to play to control my housing unit because I had 80 attitudes in the housing unit, okay? And when I'm the mayor of the town running the show, um, this was what we called an attention getter and it worked. A lot of people like to gamble. So you got 80 inmates in the housing unit. Most of them want to participate in the game, right? So this was the cool way we did it. 
what I would auction off typically was an extra entree uh, when it was dinner time we'd get an extra you know tray or an extra set of cookies or something like that and that's how we did it and it was fair so I have a bottle of water I'm not gonna tell you the brand I will show you the brand here in a few minutes I'll show you the bottle rather so I have a bottle of water and it has a barcode number on the back okay so the game it's like price is right I want you to guess a four-digit number from zero 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 all the way to nine 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 now don't do it yet doesn't count until I tell you to so don't do it yet I'm just telling you the rules you guess a four-digit number from zero 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 all the way to nine 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 don't do it yet and you're trying to guess the correct number from let's say the third the third through the seventh number of this barcode which i will show you we'll prove it so somebody said oh boy let me have that <laughs> let me have that laptop for a minute so i can now the rule is this because i can't keep up with every everybody's going to be bombarding me with numbers so you have to look in the comments when i say start in the comments don't do it yet but when i say start in the comments Give me a guess on a four-digit number. The rules are very simple. You get one guess, one entry. If you cheat and give me five entries, I'm going with the first one you texted. I mean, in the chat. Start now. You got one minute. Give me a four-digit number. You're guessing the third through the seventh number. Third through the seventh number. Wow. Third through the seventh number of this barcode on the back of the bottle of water. You only get one entry. Like I said, we're keeping it real, keeping it fair. If you're if you're cheating and giving me too many, I'm only gonna go with the first one you put on. Where's the number? You wanna see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can rest that here if you want. Just to make sure somebody. So, uno, dos, tres, so it would be uh-huh we're not going to tell you what it is yet we know the number though we know the number we're looking at it keep going keep going keep going keep going and you got about 15 more seconds when i type keep going keep going keep going and stop that's the end end thank you if your submission yeah, was before well it has to be between the start and the end so i'm sorry if you didn't get it in there so i'm going to look again this is to keep it fair right so what we're going to do watch this what we're going to do now is give me a minute to look and i will show you the number i'm going to show you the number this is a bottle of my favorite water, Mountain Valley. It's uh, bottled in Garland County. I'm picking Zero, seven, seven. Oh, so the third oh, number is okay. seven, two, oh, eight. Seventy, two, oh, eight. Seventy, two, oh, eight. Whoever got closest to seventy, two, oh, eight without going over wins a hat. Stop it. Don't do that. Go back. Now give me just a minute to look and see who won the hat. Because I lost the comments. So. Of course. <laughs> it's, always, it's always something. Come on. This is fun. Alright, viewers. Hold on. Let's see who won the hat. 70... What did we say? 7208? Okay, wait till my comments pop back up here and then I can determine who won. But I bet you most of y'all have already determined who it is. Yeah, I see all of y'all posting LL. So 
said, I'm, that was fun. I'm spent. <laughs> I know. I saw that. I love that. <laughs> we are too. <laughs> Trust me. We are too. <laughs> LL. LL of fire. Linda Spencer. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to take y'all. Let's see. I believe you. It's not that I think you're... I believe you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you for your word, guys. I'll have to... I think everybody's in agreement that it's LL, and I've lost it. We're going to go with that. So, LL... Hang on. So, which Linda was it? Was it Linda Spencer... Is that right? Who? LL. Right. Where's LL? I don't see LL in the chat. Oh, I do now. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm sorry. So my bad. My bad. My bad. So it is Linda Spencer? No, it's LL. Oh. <laughs> I needed to do this right here. LL. Look. Look. Hang on. Somebody wants to use this uh, oh. air pump. I'm going to back up. Okay. Come on. back up a little because they want to use the air pump. I'm not going to be mean. All right, LL, I'm going to give you <laughs> Somebody said let's chase him. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, okay, funny. LL, text me text me your I need to know what name you want on the package and a good mailing address to Pulaski County News at gmail.com. I've texted you that in the chat. Send me an email with your name and a good mailing address. And I use the postal service. I do not use FedEx or UPS. So I need a good mailing address for you. And I'm out of town until Tuesday. So I'm not going to be able to get that mailed out until I get back home. So it'll come to you in about a week. Please email me, ll at pulaskicountynews at gmail.com. I put it in the chat for you. And, oh, one other thing, ll. One other thing, ll. Do you want a regular trucker hat or do you want the flat bill snapback hat? And you can go, if you look in any of the videos I've released, there's a link to the store. Go on there and look at both of them and just. Tell me which hat you want in the chat in the email. Do you want the regular trucker hat or do you want the 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 flat bill snapback? Well, Linda Zeno, you said James wears Toto. Well, unfortunately, Toto is not doing so well. Um, and thank you for asking. He is uh, 17 years old. And he's been experiencing some respiratory difficulties in the last week. And it's getting to a point where I'm probably going to have to make a tough decision the next few days. So he's lived a very long life. And, uh, you know, I got him when he was two years old. So he's been with me for 15 years. And we've been through a lot of stuff together, him and I. But, you know, I think his time has come and he's, you know, he's just, uh, he's, he's, he's suffering. He's starting to suffer a little more than he should. So like losing a child. Well, it is because that, that dog has been through everything with me and, you know, I've experienced up and downs and lefts and rights and you know, ins and outs and, you know, whatever you want to say. And that dog has been there and has been loyal to me the whole time. So, you know, that's life. So if, if you guys don't mind, if you'll, uh, you know, just when you go to bed tonight, if you'll just in your prayers, just say, and, and you know, NST's James's dog Toto, you know, we just want to help him get to the next, the next chapter, the next, we want him to carry over to the next life. So, you know, let's just wish him well, because I think it's probably going to happen soon. And, and I'm, I, eh, you know, I, 
I'm doing pretty good about talking about it right now, but I'm sure later on I'll break down, <laughs> you know, because, you know, we've, I've had them since 2009. That's doing that. I hit a wrong button. <laughs> I know I did. I totally hit a wrong button. And now it's doing that. Like, what is causing that? Like, why are you doing that? All right. See, I've learned how to rest this thing kind of like that. Yeah. Well, thank y'all so much. I appreciate the prayers and the thoughts and, you know, just the good energy. Thank you for the kindness. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I can't, you know, some folks look at their animals as they're just property and I can't, I can't look at my dog as just property. Officer. Yeah, so that's the uh, must be having a party. UCA police. We're sitting. We're right. We're right next to the University of Central Arkansas campus. We're actually on Donaghy right now, Donaghy Avenue, and there's a lot of activity. A lot of activity that's happening right now around campus. How did you come up with the name Natural State Transparency? Randy asks, how did we come up with that? Well, for the folks that don't know, the Arkansas official name of Arkansas, the official slogan is the natural state. And transparency, if you look that up in the, in the dictionary, uh, it's uh, the art of being transparent. I like to translate that as an open book. So, I had some prior law enforcement related experience. I've worked for four separate agencies in my time. Um, in support roles, I always tell everybody when I introduce myself that, you know, I never was a police officer and never was out here on the streets. I'm not trying to proclaim that I ever was, but I have been a detention officer. I've also been a 911 uh, operator and dispatcher and I was a civilian employee for the Arkansas State Police. And in that, in having support roles within those agencies, I learned quite a bit. And <clears throat> transparency, if there's one thing I learned working in those agencies, it, you, have to, uh, you have to justify your actions or you, you will be held accountable. So, uh, you know, here we are modern time and I just want to show you guys that there's more to it. You know, a lot of times on YouTube, you see sensationalized videos of action. But you don't see, a lot of times, is the Cindy's, the officer Cindy's of the world who uh, try to just help folks and make sense of something crazy and maybe try to help somebody have a better day. Um, you see the troopers out here that are changing the tires. You don't see that on a video much uh, anywhere. And so that was why we named this channel Natural State Transparency was to show off uh, that- the, the good thing. Yeah, and it's not all just, it's not all bad. And it's a, it's a misrepresentation if you, if you think law enforcement is nothing more than police chases because it's not, it's, it's just not. And, you know, and uh, I'm sorry that the the mainstream media only shows you, um, you know, the action and or uh, the the negative or someone else's bad behavior goes viral on YouTube because they cussed out a cop or something like that. That's that's not always happening. How many times on a given shift? I mean, if you're working an eight hour shift, it, that might not even happen all shift. Right. But the media would make you think that it, it happens all the time. You know, you'd be surprised. There's actually a lot of people out here that, that are kind. And they do appreciate the police. They totally do, right. And there's, there's a mutual respect. So I think that's where I came up with the idea of natural state transparency. It's an Arkansas open book. 
I'm taking you down my old, my oh, old block. Oh, your street? Yeah, that's why I double back. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you can tell, you see this, I, I mentioned this before, you see the curb viewers right there on your right? We white, the, the, the wee corner of the rights of your screen. I used to ramp off that with my bike. <laughs> back in the day. You're just a baby. I know it. <laughs> so actually, I used to be in this old house here. This was built. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, it's like beautiful. 1919. Yes, when that was gorgeous. built. gorgeous. I lived on the bottom floor. Yeah. And somebody still lives in there now, but I tell you, you know what? We had a little brief spin-up tornado come through the backyard back in when we first moved in the like 1991, I think, 1990, something like that. Wow. And we were home. We didn't even know it. Wow. Got a lot of damage. Old Conway. So this is, uh, this is, this is an older part of town. You find a lot of older homes here. This is the original. I like to say this is kind of the core of Conway, right? You know, uh, before everything kind of, um, built around it and I have fond memories as a child of riding my bicycle on this very street and going to the junior high that's down here and growing up here in Conway. Conway's a wonderful city. Yeah. It's grown. Oh gosh. I went to college here at UCA in 1983 and there was about 30,000 people. And now I believe it's mm -hmm. close to 80,000. That's a quite a bit of growth. In My mom was a non-traditional student that came back to college in 1989 to UCA. So she was going to college there in 89 and then went to Hendrix in I think 92 or 93. See this town, some of you viewers don't know this. There's actually three colleges here in this town. In this, I don't want to call it town. It's called a city. <laughs> so there's lots of there's lots of activity going on here in Conway at any given time. So these homes that I'm passing right now were built. You can tell. Some of them were built 60, 80, 100 years ago. Um, th this is the Conway core, as I was saying. Like, uh, this is Old Town, if you want to call it that. I don't know what you would call this, but. Uh, okay, well, well, we'll handle that right now. We'll handle that right now. I love having that privilege, by the way. You just zapped him. You just <laughs> see. Look at that old home Isn't right that there. Gorgeous. That's 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 getting to be an eighty to a hundred year old home, yeah. and there's several right over here. And Conway's very clean. Yeah, you don't see a lot of trash on the streets. They do a lot to keep this city up, and of course, this city is is doing. The city's doing pretty well economically, so they have money to spend on their public works and trying to make this place, you know, a better place. Well, thank you, Beverly, I will. So actually my mother and I went live from Lawrence County during the eclipse, we were able to take eclipse glasses and put them on my phone for the viewers to see the actual eclipse. It was really cool. That's fantastic. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Did you see it from here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty... We had total blackness. Oh, darkness. yeah. Yeah. Total darkness. Oops. Oh, you're all right. And uh, yeah, it was really nice. So. main fire station. I'm going to spin around real quick and back up. 
Truck one, truck one, Conway Fire Department. So we're down here again, kind of in the old town, and I'm actually gonna go through the downtown area real quick. Okay, wait just a second. They said your phone is vibrating quite a bit. You might wanna readjust that. It's vibrating. It shouldn't be. We are at the main fire station, downtown Conway. That is correct, Miss Patty. Oh, is that Patty Heath? Uh huh. Oh, okay. She's a she is a local Conway resident. She, oh, they've opened the street back up. Yes, finally. Oh, this has been closed it's down been for months. a long time. Yeah, it really has. Since the fall. Look at that right. That used to be the. You know what? That used to be the fire station. That used to be. Remember when they used to have an emergency squad? Mm -hmm. You remember that? The, well, that's before the, I moved to Conway in yeah nineteen ninety nine. Oh, okay. So we are in front of the Faulkner County Courthouse right here. And they've got a big old anchor out front, likely as a memorial. For you viewers that didn't see our last live, there was actually an old remnant. There's a remnant of an old jail at the very top of this building. They don't use it anymore. That music keeps coming. Read what Brad said. Yeah, Brad, how do I disable that? Because I didn't mean to do that. And you, you nailed it. It is coming up as a close call, and I don't know why that's doing that. So if you know... Oh, what is the scanner? Okay, um, I've got a Uniden STS-200. And I have hit some button that I didn't mean to hit. And it just keeps doing that. It's driving me nuts. Oh, I see it now. Wait a minute. Yeah, I know. Go into menu, look for close call. Okay, let me work on that. Let me see if I can figure it out. Hopefully it won't do it again. I think I may have done it. I think I may have gotten it, maybe. Uh, Suzette, Susie said, go around to the back to the museum. That was the original jail. And they have a really neat train set upstairs. That's right around the back. Of this courthouse, uh -huh. huh? Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can carefully do a little U-turn here. We don't have any traffic down here tonight. I used to ride my bike all through here, too. Yeah. I used to love it. <laughs> Make a left right there. Okay. Yeah, well, there was the, the old library yeah. back here, too. Mm -hmm. I remember that. See, they see, it's even got it on there. Faulkner County Emergency Squad. Mm -hmm. I always wondered what that was. It says, LL ask Officer Cindy... Were you a career LEO or other vocations? I spent 30 years in law enforcement and uh, retired at 53 and worked a couple more years. And now I am doing something a little bit different. I am caretaking for a friend of mine who, whose husband had a stroke. So it's, uh, it's very different from law enforcement. So you see the Faulkner County Sheriff cars back here. This is the, this is like the new old jail. I'm going to call it the new old jail because when I lived here, they built this and mm -hmm. I watched them build this jail 
but now this is the old jail compared to the new jail, which is Unit 2 over there off of East German Lane, I believe, or South German yes, Lane. Yes, Patty said this is Unit 1. Or Unit 1, okay. She knows. Well, yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and I remember literally watching them build this. And if you will look, I'm going to pull my phone off of here for a minute. Let me just show you. I'm the backside of the... the I think there's a ghost in my scanner. You see that right there? That's where the old jail, that was the original old jail from forever ago. So. Just that little top floor, huh? Yeah. Now. Hell then. Well, all right. Cool courthouse here. I've got a jailer or a deputy just staring at me, wondering what I'm doing. He's nice, though. I did a live stream in Pine Bluff last, uh, the last live stream I did was live from Pine Bluff. When was the last time you went to Pine Bluff, Cindy? quite a while ago um, when I went to the beach I went through oh okay all right going to Florida well you know what I will tell you kind of like what I'm doing right now I drove around and and I hadn't really driven through Pine Bluff much I mean I used to go down there as part of work when I worked for state police I had to, had to take inmates down there and pick up supplies and bring them back up yeah. For the state police had an inmate services program. But anyway, long story short, I actually drove around Pine Bluff and was amazed by how many old buildings they had. And just, it's just, uh, there was just so much to look at. They want to go near the bars. Well, we're there. Yes. Yes. And. Was it round, Rogue Roundabout, JJ's? Haven't they got a, uh, uh, have they got a, oh, why is my brain glitching? What is it? Uh, sorry. No, it's all good. Is there a Flying J's here? Skinny J's? Or Skinny J's. Yes. Like they've got, oh, there on, is. It, there is. Yeah. But they okay. very seldom, they don't have any issues. There's Mike's place right there. That's one of the best places in Conway. I have, it's an older crowd. I've been in there before. Very good food. Very, yeah. very good food. It used to be, this is how old I remember. I remember when it was named, it was called A Place to Eat. Mm. That was back in the 90s. I don't know when it changed over to Mike's Place. I'm going to go back that way, though. I was going to say. What's this? That's the Rogue Roundabout. That's relatively new. Have you been there? I have not. I've heard the food is good. I have not been there either. That looks nice. Let me it's park. very pretty. Yeah, is look. this Conway PD? No. No, it's Regions. See how pretty it is? Yeah, y'all check this out. Pretty nice little place here, the Rogue Roundabout. Told you this town is known for their roundabouts, so it's kind of fitting that they named a restaurant after the roundabout. <laughs> Blaylock asked, does the golfer guy still have a restaurant here? I don't know. Um, the golfer, John Daly. Oh, John Daly. John yeah, Daly, yeah, yeah. but I don't, yeah. think, I don't think so. I think that there's a Cajun restaurant. Um, what's the one? I can't remember the name of it. It's a... I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not Brian Quinn. <laughs> okay, just to let you know. Oh. Patty said, no, that place closed. Okay. So, we might have to put the Rogue Roundabout on the the short list for restaurants to try in Conway. Because I'm always... Isn't that beautiful? It is. It really is. And look at their menu. It's on that huge TV. All the different on-taps and 
all the good beverages they have. I'm gonna put that on the list. Conway Crafted. Blue, co blue collar Bill said, name revealed James is an alias. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And you know, he's my guy from Memphis. That's that's my local my local fun friend from Memphis, uh, Isaac, aka Blue Collar Builds. Him and I are actually going to do a live. We're gonna we're gonna brave it and go to Memphis. Oh, and do I know? Well, you and better I, be strapped. I will be. <laughs> oh, I haven't told you this, viewers. This is probably TMI. So unfortunately, um, this was three weeks ago. My mom had a medical episode and she had to be, I had to take her, she had a complication, she's a diabetic, you know, and unfortunately, sometimes those complications happen. And I had to take her to the hospital in Memphis. Oh, 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 oh man, man, was that, oh, well, Let's just say it was UAMS on steroids, or I don't know what you want to call it. It was uh, lots of entertainment, lots of entertainment, and it was only a Tuesday. <laughs> so, you know, I can't even imagine what it would have been like on a Friday or a Saturday night. It was only on a Tuesday. But anyway, I have to say my mom is fine, if anybody's wondering. She's doing well. She's actually probably watching the live stream right now. Hi, Mom. So, hello, NST James's mama. Thank you for the gift of life. I appreciate it. I'm trying to make you proud right now. You know she's proud. I hope so. I really do. So... You know what? And it's interesting. I bet there, I was mentioning this the last time. I'm kind of ISO an executive office somewhere. Well, there's a lot of space in Conway. I know it. And, and I'm seeing that. I was looking and I'm, and I'm not just, I don't, it doesn't just have to be in the Northeast because I come down here enough. Well, you, like I said, you've always got my home to use your... Oh, I've got that great is so internet. sweet. I've got thank great you. internet. High thank, speed. Thank you very Conway much. Corp is absolutely the best. Okay, y'all heard it. You see how kind Cindy is? That's what we're talking... We need more kindness in this world. Thank you. That's so yeah, nice Yeah, don't pay you. for a place when you've got my home. Thank you. That's so nice. That's so... Well, you know what? I'll take you up on that. We hey. might have to run a Pursuit Friday from your living room. How about that? <laughs> Are you, are you down with that? I'm down with it. I'm down with it. As long as I'm in bed early. Yeah, there you go. Well, you'll just you'll just fall asleep to ASB sirens yes, in your living room. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, after a while of doing the videos, you know, the sirens are actually relaxing. Okay, Brad Stowe has a message for you. Okay. Okay, let me pull over. Do do this safely. Let's stop here for a minute. Oh, yeah, let's go look at Conway PD. We'll look at their back gate here while we look. We have some great police officers. I'm very pleased with our fire and police department. Yeah, you know, Conway PD, similarly to some of the other agencies around, they, they typically get the best of the best applicants. They do. They um, really do. And, you know, a lot of folks that are Conway police, they want to work. They want to because they care about their... I'm not saying that there's not concern in other agencies, but just especially up here in Conway, they want to work up here. Okay, watch a quick... Okay, it says... You press your function button and the system key turns into the close call button and close call off okay. priority or dnt dnt okay will show on the screen oh goodness <clears throat> so function okay hold on a minute function the 
the system key turns into the close call button. Oh, I got it. And the close call. Thank you. I got it. Thank you so much, thank uh, you, Brad. Brad. Yes. I'm clapping. Yes. Thank you. That's That really helps. That really helps. And that, I think we finally figured it out so you don't hear random sounds and music coming through the scanner. Which I was wondering, what have I done? Somebody wants South to Memphis Bro 27 was the winner of the last hat. Have you received your hat yet, South Memphis Bro 27? Because I sure did mail it. Please let me know. What were you saying? Somebody wants you to go down Watkins Street. Okay. Come down Watkins Street. Well, let me go find it. Do you, do you know how to get there? Watkins. I know Watkins. I can't. Then we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, Hold on. Let me get my Google machine. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you are. You're going to say you're riding shotgun. You got to be the data lady. You're the you're the data lady. Techni technological lady here. I might be a little challenged. That's okay. I don't proclaim to be the best either in the technological world. Here, rest of that. Okay. There Let's you go. see where we are. Well, hello, M. Kathy. And I want to give a shout out to all my other viewers that I haven't named personally. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're glad you're with us. Love me some of my regulars, though. M. Kathy is one of them. Thank you so much for tuning in. I think Watkins is that way. Okay. All right, we're gonna go to Watkins. North. We'll come. We'll come that way. See, here's some of our little offices. I don't need. To There's it's some coming. over on the on the Oak Street side where I live. There's some little um, offices. Okay. Well, I might very well. I don't know. I don't. Did you ever come up to the Simmons Tower when I had an office I there? Did oh, I did not. What? Oh, I'm I, sorry. I, I wish did you had. Not. Well, you know what? I had it, but it was right after you retired. It is. Yes. It was right after you left. And I had it for three years, I guess. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I was, I was there for a while. You just didn't want to be downtown any longer? Well, that was moved. part of it, but then... Since I moved to the Northeast, it didn't make sense, fiscal sense to have a, an office space in central Arkansas that I wasn't hardly using, but now I've come to miss that. Oh, really? Well, I get claustrophobic in my house. Yeah, I know. Because I, oh, this street is rough. This is horrible. I didn't know that they were doing all this. Okay. I'll stay on Hark Rider. Well, <laughs> we're going to get off this, okay? This is ridiculous. Yeah, I didn't know I would even, I didn't even know I would miss the office until I gave it up. But Let, now I totally miss the office yeah. and I need it. Loud Elvis yeah. asks, is there a sketchy part of Conway? LOL. <laughs> well, I'm going to yield to you on that one because I'm not the local resident of Conway. So I, I don't, don't know. know of any real sketchy areas. I know that there's a trailer park over by the jail that might have some yeah. Yeah, there's that's the only one I can think of the and then, Satterfield's golf station that's off of Dave Ward has a trailer park no no that's a good trailer park. oh that's the good I'm trailer talking park. about okay. over right. right beside the, the new jail there's some, oh okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, well you know traditionally the projects were off of Davis right there but they never were horrible no and Cowtown yeah. Cowtown, Angus. Yeah, oh, Angus, right. Yeah, I had a friend that lived on Angus. <laughs> yeah, Cowtown behind Hobby Lobby. Patty knows. She she called it. <laughs> We're actually close to Cowtown. Yeah, we are close to Cowtown. We're <laughs> But it's not bad. No. It's not bad at all. No, there, you know, really, the worst part of Conway is still a pretty decent part of Little Rock. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> well... I, I moved from Little Rock. What can I say? Yeah. I mean, you know. Hey, I'm going to tell you something else while we're here. Now, Watkins is probably pretty close. Don't it is. hit me. Thank you. This is Garland. I know, but I'm going to show you all something. Oh, the 
pressure show plate. you something right here. I have memories of this place. Shorty's. Shorty's Restaurant has been here forever. As a matter of fact, I'm going to point out something that I remember being in the window when I was a kid. That's how old this place is. What is that? Is it's this... a it's an Arkansas Hospitality Association okay. sticker. Like a we approve of this restaurant okay. kind of sticker from forever ago. And I remember seeing that as a kid. And it's the same place, Shorty's. Any of you Conway locals want to chime in on the old Shorty's over here? Patty said Shorty's. She knew exactly where oh, we were. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff over here. Good milkshakes, good burgers, good fries, you name it. They've got it. And it's reasonably affordable. We're close to Wilkinson's Mall. That's a that's a Conway thing, too. You ever go there and buy shoes? Okay, yeah, you're right, Patty. You, there's also a sketchy area behind uh, at a trailer park behind Bruce Street, behind the old fish house. That's south of us. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that I do remember a little bit of that. Where's Watkins at? Watkins is uh, one this of these street. Yeah, okay. uh, I guess that would be north. Yeah, we'll go check out Watkins. <clears throat> it should be the one of these next streets over here. You're gonna be making a left. Oh, so you're in the wrong lane. <laughs> My bad. Here. Oh, Lord Jesus. I know. Let me get out of the way. I'm going to get out of everybody's way. I'm glad I'm wearing my seatbelt. I know. Well, you know, this is a nice, good car. It's got side. It's got, it does. It's got dual airbags. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's Clayton. So we're going to cross, I believe, Watkins. Okay. Well, now we're not on the main drag. I don't have to worry about cross traffic coming, right? Are you hurting me? <laughs> <laughs> We don't want that. No. I live a very quiet life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it that way. Yeah. Indeed. Is this Watkins? What is that? Walnut. It's, well, on, it's right down here somewhere. Look, I got to point out one other place while we're here. And then we'll go find it. Wilkerson's? Yeah, because, you know. Wilkerson's. It's what Conway's so, known for. Let me tell y'all something. If you ever come to Arkansas to visit, and I and I, and I I treat some of y'all are, are going to be potential tourists because you've already declared you're coming. You're just going to work on getting over here for your vacation, okay? It's a lovely town. I'm going to tell you, first of all, put Conway on your list of places to come and stay a few days because there's there's a lot to do in this town and there's a lot of things to do right outside of town if you rent a car and just go drive around perry county you'll see some great views right over near toad south and this is a great larry to do that now oh oh yeah that's our friend from japan Thank you so much, Marie. Thank you for for that for that. Thank you again. And welcome. And nice yes, to see you from definitely. Japan. So this is Wilkinson's Mall. And you might think, okay, well, it looks like a metal building. It doesn't really look like much. Well, <clears throat> Wilkinson's has been here forever. And this place is one of those places that started small and then they've added on and they've added on some more. And this is the go-to place for, as again, they're not a paid sponsor, but I'm just telling you, foot, their sign says it all, footwear, apparel, and accessories. I'm telling you, you can get a great deal here at Wilkinson's Mall. Come here if you like name brand stuff like Panagonia, They've got all kinds of stuff, all the good, all the good shoes. This place has got your size, okay? Where if you if you ladies have weird feet sizes, 
hints my mom because she's watching and she probably doesn't want me to talk about her feet. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, this place is for you. So if you have trouble finding your size in a shoe, you come here and you tell them the NST sent you and they're going to tell you they don't even know who that is. And they're local. They are local, right. They are. And it's not a chain. It's family owned and operated. So okay. highly recommend it. Patty said we go all the way down and Watkins Street is near Laurel Park over behind Conway Regional. Oh, well that's, okay. That's... Take Mill Street West to where it ends and turn left onto Mitchell. Okay, well that's a little different. That's a different neighborhood. And yeah, I was just in Laurel Park. That's, that's blocked off. I know, I'm gonna back up. Or are they talking smack? Laylock said, I don't think you can talk about women's feet <laughs> on the internet without a warning. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. And you're correct. You have to give it a, a big preface for sure because you you talk about offending somebody. I can tell you right now, my mom, if my mom's watching, she oh. is she is not happy with me right now and tell you that. Why are you talking about my feet on the internet? Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. <laughs> Oh. Hey, thank you again. Thank you. Our friend from Japan has come through again. That is so nice of you. Remember, I always want to say this, that I appreciate all super thanks. That That's the uh, where you can uh, give a donation and you'll be able to give us a, a sticker here in the chat, but it's never expected but it is always appreciated. It's very much so the same as like a tip. And we are very grateful when we receive those. I will tell you that um, anytime uh, we receive any donations of any sort, they truly do go to help fund the channel because the videos that you watch on this channel unfortunately are not free and they're not cheap. So if you enjoy our content, we appreciate that. It's not required. We uh, do not care if you don't ever donate anything. That is to the, just the fact that you're watching and you're subscribed is, is, is thanks enough. But if you feel so compelled to help out in that way a little bit, we appreciate it and it does go a long way. I promise you that. You're clear, right? Cool. You're right. Do you ever watch any, uh, you, you know, you retired. You, you probably don't watch cop shows, do you? No. No, see, no. that's something let's talk about. You know what? Every, every police officer I've ever known that's retired or got out of the industry, guess what they don't want to do? Watch, watch cop, cop shows. shows. <laughs> that's true. Viewers, does this come as any surprise to you at all? Did you think that most cops like to watch cop stuff? Maybe when they're on duty. I know, well, you're, you're, uh, when you're a you're, rookie. Your you're, uh, yeah. junior partner that we were associated with did. Mm -hmm. He used to watch that kind of stuff. He still does. He, he didn't watch my stuff much. How do you ask, why do I not want to watch them? Because I lived it for 30 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very real. Yeah, um, that's true. It's not scripted. It's crazy. It's hilarious. It's unfortunate. There's a lot of different words. But I, I backed out of law enforcement. and I did it for 30 years, and I love it. But I'm a civilian now, just a regular person. And, and digging that life. And loving and, and it. loving the freedom of that. Loving it. And that's the thing. You know, you, you touched on a lot of key words. And there's here's something else. that Here's one that you didn't say, but I, I, I want to say it because I've experienced this as a dispatcher. Heartache. Heartache, yes. When you the see sadness. the worst of the worst, it can wear on you. And, I, and, and even though I wasn't on the street, I used to take those phone calls from people that were in the midst of a crisis. And it was hard to handle that on a daily basis so 
Blue Collar Builds ask, I actually have a question for Miss Cindy. How real is Cops and Live PD compared to real life or all those shows just staged? No, those are pretty real. Um, I think Cops did come to Little Rock um, three or four years in a row mm -hmm. and they were, it was very real. Yeah. They were right there when the action was going down and they saw a lot of I don't know how to say it. Um, it's not scripted, <laughs> for sure. Well, you know, in, in the Cops episodes in Little Rock, uh, they featured uh, Steve Woodall. Yes. Remember him? Yes. And uh, he got in a pursuit. I remember this episode. He got in a, he was driving old, old Caprice. He got in a pursuit that was off in of the Valentine. Yes. And it went all the way down Asher, and it wrecked out at 65th and University. Hey, thank you so much, Marietta. That is our Canadian friend. See, I remember y'all. This is a very personable channel. So thank you so much. Once I know you, I know you. And I did mail you one to Canada. So I'm glad you received it. And I'm glad that that made it. Thank you, Miss Marietta. You know, and, and then the cops came back for one season well, in like 03 or 04 because I was at the county jail when they came into intake. I remember the, the filming crew mm -hmm. came in. They did. And, and they filmed. They uh, would come into the jail. They you know who they go... filmed? It was uh, John Como. Oh, yeah. Remember Como? Yeah, he was my sergeant. For yeah, me. yeah. And, you know, he, he's he got some stories. Oh, I know he does. Yeah, he's oh. got Oh, Como. He was, so, Como. he was so kind to me on the radio. He used to call me James on the radio on mm -hmm. secondary. Oh, yeah. He was very personable. A very nice man, He's too. the only guard at LRPD when I was dispatching that would call me by my name on, on the radio. And I just, I thought that was so, that he took the effort to know who I was. And I was a young 21-year-old, fresh face. And, and that meant the world to me, professionally, that he actually cared enough to give me that respect. So, John Como, we appreciate you. Okay. I'm still talking about you now. This so. is Western. So I think we make a left and go through the roundabout in that show. Oh, just keep going that way? Okay. Yeah. Well, I knew I was getting close. We are close. It will be, this is the roundabout, and you're going to go straight. We're at the back of Laurel Park. Does this connect to Laurel Park, yes. or do I have to? Make, oh, I see it. it. Okay, okay, around. I see it. And we'll, we'll we'll probably we're close to Stobie's. Oh, <laughs> that's a that's a short list uh, place to come. Again, for your short list of Conway eateries, you need to put Stobie's on there for sure. For sure. God, that was staple food when I was growing mm -hmm. up. Loved it. We eat ate there all the time. Now, this is Laurel Park to the right, and then Conway Regional owns all of this, or most of this. Oh. Nope, this is Caldwell. Where is... We'll go... We'll, we'll college. I need to go to College Street and go up. Okay, College is south of here. Okay. Make a right at the light. Yeah. See, I, when I live-streamed up here three or four weeks ago, I started from Laurel Park. Okay. I happen to be there. Now, if if you want to know during the summer, you know, they have a children's splash pad. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of times there's people there in need of uh, socks um, because they bathe. A lot of homeless people hang out there today. Wow, I didn't yes, know that. Yes, and they... That there's would be, Stobies right there, Yes, the there's Stobies. So, there, that would be a good place to maybe That's reach good. out to somebody in need. Well, let me ask you this. Did they do that down the... Uh, in in uh, Riverfront Park too, they do, they do. Okay, well, I didn't think that I didn't even think about that. They do. It's a good place to, I guess, take a breather. Yeah. Well, you know, it's nice to be able to go somewhere in public where you don't have to pay. You know, and that, yeah. that's that's one of those kind of places. You know, the park. <laughs> Patty said Watkins is on the other way between Mitchell and Donaghy. <laughs> We've just completely gone the wrong way. Well, I have found Laurel Park. Does well, that... Yeah, this is Laurel Park. This is a beautiful park. Does that count? So my mom and I had a picnic here about three weeks ago, and then I 
then I went live. And we sat right over here on the picnic table. Yep, and the splash pad's right over there next to the tennis center, I believe. And I saw a lot of people here. This is a, a wonderful park. You can have birthday parties here. They have clean restrooms. It's it's a wonderful park. Yeah. It, it, there was a lot of people here that day. And it's nice to see everybody out here. A nice, diverse crowd, I'll say. I saw all ages and all races here. Everybody was enjoying themselves. Between Mitchell and Donaghy. Okay, well, I know where Donaghy is, and then Mitchell, well, Mitchell's right off Davis. This is one block north, because I know where, okay, all right. Somebody asked if we have a large homeless population in Conway, and we, we do. We have a lot of, we have new shelters. There's a couple of new shelters and churches. A lot of the churches reach out and try to help also. Yeah, and golly, Little Rock especially. They've... We did, we drove right past it before we were on Prince Street. Okay. So. Wow, this is really built up. This Conway Regional stuff right yes, here. Yes, Conway Regional has bought a lot of this, these residences and turned them into their different offices. I see. Okay, so between Donaghy and Mitchell is Watkins. Okay, yes. then I know where Watkins yeah. is. And you know what? I knew that sounded familiar. I've probably ridden my bike on Watkins. <laughs> We're about to go find out right now. This is... Well, let me get up here to college, because I wasn't there yet. The college is right here in the roundabout. No, it may. Ah, we're listening to the Faulkner County Sheriff just then. So this is college, but that means I can cut through right here to Watkins. I bet it's, yeah, Sims. Let's try it. See if I can turn that left right here. Somebody's crossing, babe. Let's just do this right here. Ooh, they got their bunny ears on. They must be just going to party. Arkansas 435, Zebra John Adam, 435, DJA, Red Dodge Rain. I apologize, y'all. We had the radio turned down. I've got it turned back up now. Got to do in Q and A. Ah, Watkins. Okay, whoever wanted me to come to Watkins, I am there. I'm at Sims and Watkins, and we're gonna roll down your street. Yes, this is one of those streets I rode my bike on, because this is the little neighborhood I used to live in. Are you gonna come outside and wave at us? Say hello to the viewers. Okay, this is Jonathan, right now, program air. Good morning. This is Martin. Yeah, I hear a loud party. Yeah, there is a loud party. There too. That must be where all those students are yeah. going. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go check out the loud you party. You want to go crash it? No. <laughs> I want to wave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You think we could get in? You think we would? You think they'd let us in? I don't. I don't think I. You tell them we're the adult chaperones. Yeah, I'm 58 now, so I don't think I could. <laughs> I don't think I could hang with the youngins. Oh, they've got a band. Yeah, it's in that. It's in that shelter. Oh, they've got off-duty uh, UCAPD. That's a big old party. You know what I don't smell in the air? I don't smell weed. I don't either. I know. Usually big old parties, you smell that kind of stuff in the air. Get some beers. <laughs> yeah. Blue collar bills and get some beers. Oh. 
you got another tip. Hey, all right, Marietta again. Thank you again. You are too kind, and we do appreciate that. Thank you very much. She said the pink envelope is very special. I kept it. Oh, good. Okay, yeah. I, you know what? I am proud of those pink envelopes. And for the viewers that have not ordered a free NSD bumper sticker, if you will go to any of the videos I have released in the last, oh, I don't know, six to eight months, if you'll look at the top of the comments, you'll notice that there's a link there for the free NST bumper sticker. Get on it. I will mail you a bumper sticker. And yes, even if it says it's U.S. residents only, guess what? I will mail it worldwide. As long as you put in a valid address, I will mail it to you. So it is open up to the world now. Sparkle Purple said, I got my bumper sticker and I love it. One of these days I'll change that so it says worldwide instead of U.S. residents only. And I love being able to send out bumper stickers. Again, that that, that might be another thing too. Your donation goes towards that cause as well. I'd like to say thank you to the viewers for supporting you and, uh -huh. and keeping your dream alive. Well, I appreciate that. And I appreciate their their loyalty to this channel. You know, we, we don't, we're, we're not, this isn't scripted. This is just us being real here, you know, and, and that's what we're trying to show you. We're just trying to show you a thing or two on these videos and these lives. Oh, somebody sent $10. Oh, back the blue $10. Thank you so much. For socks. Oh, that's Yeah, so and see, sweet. again, I will go get a pack of socks. I will do that. I'm going to Costco tomorrow. Well, that's, I might get ooh. something to donate to you. I've never been to Costco. Oh, well, let's go tomorrow. I'm going after church. Really? Yes, you can move the Well, I'm in, I'm in Little Rock till Tuesday. So. Oh, that's fabulous. I know, right? Let's do it. <laughs> Holler at me. Well, there you have it, folks. We will be at Costco tomorrow, and I'll put your $10 donation to good use. And I'll, I'll donate $20 to you. I can tell you. Well, thank you. That's, yes. that's very kind. I... Uh, we have some gift cards. I spent a hundred dollars today. I, I went and dropped a hundred dollar bill and bought some gift cards to send out to folk, uh, to uh, help with some folks in need. As a matter of fact, why don't we mosey on over to uh, maybe the main drag on Oak Street or something? Let's see if we can find us some folks that are looking less fortunate. Maybe we need a blessing tonight. You know, I like. I love that's that's one of my favorite things to do is uh, just to see their see their faces light up because they don't expect it and they don't see it coming. I didn't bring my cash, but I'll I'll, I'll meet you at Costco tomorrow and we'll go. Shopping. I would love that because I'll, I'll absolutely do it. We're going by the Baptist College. All right, we have another one here. Who is that? I can't read the. Uh, uh, Sparkle Purple, twenty dollars. Thank you so much, oh, Sparkle Purple. And she said, "Gas money or whatever you need." Well, oh. it is appreciated. Um, we will absolutely put any of these monies that have been received to good use. I promise you. Um, and again, it's not expected. I understand. You barely made it. I know I did. <laughs> I know you're making me nervous. <laughs> going back to. I'm a driving instructor, and you. <laughs> you me, barely made it, Mister. Making me nervous. <laughs> but no, I will tell y'all that you know, um, with with the donations, there again for the ones that are just tuning in, these are not expected. You don't have to donate anything. Your your loyal your loyalty and patronage to this channel by viewing our our videos and subscribing and hitting the like button is is all we ask if you'll just do that that's more than enough but if you're able to and, and you don't mind and you and you you're willing to to donate a little something something we will put it to good use i i promise you that patty said we are just passing saint joseph's high school yeah and that used to be ellen smith 
Really? That was Ellen, wasn't it? I don't know. It's Patty, been... wasn't that Ellen Smith on, on Hark Rider, that school, before St. Joseph's took it over? Am I right? Or was that Ida Burns? I think this was Ellen Smith. She would know. Hmm. Yes, so yes, it was. It was Ellen were, Smith. You were correct. My memory is intact. I still. did not know that. Yeah. And Ida Burns is on Donaghy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, I went to Sally Cohn, but it's like hardly there anymore. I don't think it is. No, just the preschool think, part of it's yeah. there. Didn't they turn that into an adult education center? They did, or, or something. Okay, we're on Oak Street. Yeah, we're gonna look around because now this is where this is where I suspect you may find somebody that's charging their phone and one of these empty shopping centers or something, you know. We're just going to kind of slow roll Oak Street and see what we can find here. It's not too busy. It's not. Let's see if we have anybody just walking around. Or... So we've made it back to Oak Street. Uh, this is kind of like Midtown Conway. Excuse me. Let's go up here towards the interstate. I bet I can find somebody. Yeah. Around. I bet I can find somebody around here. Patty said Oak Street's Burger Row. It is. Yeah. A lot of fast food restaurants. No, I remember they used to have a, a bakery here. Wasn't there, wasn't there a yeah, Ed's. Ed's Bakery, Ed's. yes. And and Julie used to work for him, and now she has the bakery <sighs> over next to J.C. Penney's in that shopping center. There used to be Maggie's Cookies, too. Yeah, they went, didn't they go out of business? Yeah, I think so. They were delicious. They were. A lot of people at Taco Bell. Yeah, like homeboy right here. Old man. Yep, that's a good one. What are you thinking? Yeah, right, so you might too. need a blessing. Yeah, I think so. I'm a, I'm a, before I go roll up on them, though, I'm going to get my packages open. I don't, well, let me get in here for a second. Just for a second here. Can you take your camera with you? Well, when I don't, I don't put them on blast. What I do is I just roll up, and I'll have them come to the window, and I, I'll introduce and say who, you know, what we're doing. But I'm not. You know, they don't have I didn't to. Know. No, I, uh, well, some people may not I, want to be on camera. No, I respect their privacy. You know, I don't. My gift is not. You don't have to dance for it, okay? You know, <laughs> or, or tell a funny joke or something. You know, if I'm gonna give, if I'm gonna give you a blessing. You know. Good night, Linda. Because remember, folks, people, you know, you, even if you're homeless, you still have your dignity about yourself. You know, I want to respect that. So. <clears throat> okay. All right. Now, let's go see if we can find that older gentleman here. Go ahead. Hey. I see you. I see you just... Like this is probably the funnest part of doing a live stream is being able to offer somebody a blessing that really needs it. See, he's, he's walking over there. Let's see if I can. Ah, I don't get Oh, yeah, he already made it to the other side. Yeah, I see that. Uh, Let me just sit here and see if he's walking. Let's just sit here for a second. Yeah, let's see if he goes to the if he's working that off ramp or if he's just gonna keep on. The new shelter, I don't know if you know where it is, it's directly behind Hobby Lobby. Oh, right here. Uh-huh. 
I don't think it, I've ever seen it. It's it's new. Well, if he continues west or east, rather. He's gonna, oh no, he's. Yeah. I he thought can, he hit the. He did. Cross but if he continues this way, we might be able to intercept him over here if he keeps it. We'll come. We'll double back in a minute. It's a nice night tonight. So, let's talk about the weather in Conway right now. It is 71 degrees, clear skies, no wind. Perfect conditions right now, I tell you what. Yeah. That's what I was going to tell you about. Mm-hmm. You and I are on the same page with that. like hotel motel row went through here. Now the comfort in is nice. Oh okay. Yeah. And this used to be it's a motel six down but it used to be a Hampton. Oh this was an old Hampton Inn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah those are pretty decent. It's 54 in Central Florida. Wow, that's cool. I'm kind of wondering if we were hearing a disturbance just then. People shouting. I'm not real sure. Fine. And that's not what we're trying to do. Hey, let's get on out of here and see. Sometimes folks hang out at the hotels and they just hang outside. They don't can't afford a room, but they'll hang around. Sometimes I'll see them and let's see. Nolan asked, "What are we doing in Conway?" Well, we're loitering. <laughs> <laughs> Security guard or police? Yeah. Looks like a guard. Did he keep walking? Oh, yeah. I'm going to pull in here and see. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe he's down there on that corner. In that. Okay. We'll see what we can do here. I'm going to spin around this golden corral and see if anybody's in the back. So you're going to be in town through Tuesday? Yeah. Great. Yeah, I'll be in town till Tuesday. You know, viewers, they, well, we found a cat. Kitty, kitty. Hey, kitty. Well, I'm off on Fridays, and I would love to maybe do this again sometime. Hey, well, what do you think, viewers? Can you give Cindy a boat of confidence right now? If you want her to be on live again, say, yes, we want Cindy back. <laughs> Flood the chat right now. Let her know how you feel about it. Or tell her, no, we don't want you back. <laughs> Which you, yeah, you, you can't hurt my feelings. Yeah, I was going to say, you can say that. I mean, you know, but let her know. You want her back? You want Cindy back? You want you want Cindy to ride again? Oh, there's so many yeses. I'm telling you, you've, you've got a cool audience here. What a great group of people. I know it. They are. They truly are. I've enjoyed getting to know folks. They've made my day a few times on these lives. Well, here they are. They're pouring they in are. now. They are. Oh, my goodness. They're pouring in. I'm telling you. That's right. So Brad said the cat wants a gift card. Yeah, he probably <laughs> does. I, I know. The cat wasn't even trying to get away. too. Fa he wasn't even going too fast. He was slow rolling away. All right, let's see. Do you see think if... he went under the bridge? He might have. Let's yeah. just see. I don't have my glasses on. Well, I'm looking. I'm looking. Yeah. I don't see it. That would be the. That would be the likely. I oh, know he's on the corner. Oh. So he's right okay. there. Okay. Okay. Me holler at him. Yeah, tell him to meet us at the show. Hey, can you meet us at the show? We want to give you a blessing. Can you meet us at the shells? Meet, gas us, at, station? meet us at the shell. Okay. Good. 
There you go. Cool. Still got that police voice though. I, I remember, got that. Voice. I remember that. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I haven't used that voice. I know it. I'm telling you. I was just saying, that was those were the that was the downtown drunks. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I didn't need the PA. I didn't need a loudspeaker. No, you didn't. That is funny. Well, so that's just bringing it right on back home. Blue Luck said a bunch of strangers yelling to meet me at the shell. <laughs> hey, what's up, young man? Uh, Miss Kathy said it made her sit up. <laughs> hey, what's going on, bud? You doing all right? Pretty good. All right, well... We're out here trying to give a blessing tonight, so uh, I've got a I've got a gift card to Burger King, Taco Bell, or which one? Wendy's. You have a preference? Nope. Oh, that's pick, so sweet. Pick one, man. What's your preference? If you were Taco Bell. Ta Taco there you go. Bell. All right. Taco Bell. So how's your night going, man? Doing all right? Pretty good. Well, hope <laughs> things get better. Oh yeah. And hey, this will help put a little food in your belly. You got to scratch off the code on the back, okay? There you go, ten dollar gift card, man. Try to stay up, okay? Have a good night. You too. All right, you take care. You of yourself. be blessed. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Jared Lane said, "Geez, you have me walking to the Shell station now." <laughs> there you go. That's right. <laughs> We're giving out so, money. Somebody said they peed a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. Well. We aim to please, right? That's what we do here on this channel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, we gotta ride again. This is too <laughs> we're having too much fun. This is good stuff. Okay, it says a police chase in Greenbrier involving a yellow Jeep. Not sure if the state's involved. You wanna go towards Greenbrier? I'm listening to Faulkner County Sheriff right now. Hold on. Well, who's in pursuit? It's at Greenbrier. Greenbrier PD? Yeah. Oh. Well, you'd think the sheriff would bring that up. Uh, there's a Greenbrier PD, and then there's the Faulkner County Sheriff's Office. Yeah. Well, we're monitoring the channel now. We're going. Yeah, Green, 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 Green Bar. Friday, March 25, to Alma Costa, Solano. That's of just Alma. a return. That ain't. Confirm 52. Okay, you go all the way around the back, and that's where that new uh, shelter is. I want to see it. Yeah. Okay, well, we will, we will, Greenbrier is, you know, 10 to 12 miles north of us. Uh, we wouldn't necessarily go to Greenbrier unless it was coming this way. If we hear it on the scanner waves, we'll head that way. Please, whoever just tipped us off to the Greenbrier Pursuit, keep us posted if you have any other information. And here's a little piece of history that's gone. Let me spin my rig back around here and I'll show you. Back in the day, there used to be a standalone building right where that power pole is, right here. And it was called DPS, Direct Police Sales. And I'll have you know that the staff there all knew who I was at eight years old because my mother would take me to the cop shop and I used to go in there and look around all the time. This Blalox, is something yeah, I wanted to do. Blalox said, let me guess, you rode your bike there. No, <laughs> no, actually, this was a little too far for me. Um, my, my mom would take me here to the cop shop. That's funny. Okay, you make a right right here and I believe the shelter's right there to your left. Okay. I believe that's the... Okay. I had old Conway PD patches and everything. They used to, they used right to give there. me stuff. Oh, yeah. I thought it was kind of weird that an eight-year-old would come in there more than once. No return. Okay. There's a lot of cats here, aren't there? And there's a there's a police officer, but there's there's the shelter right there on the corner. That would be a... Uber. Is that an Uber or that's police? A, that's, 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 that's an Uber. Oh. Yeah, some, some lady, right. Hey, there's some ladies hanging out over there. I wonder what they're up to. I don't know. All hanging out. 
Is this the shelter though? Oh man, yeah. that's a nice yeah, shelter. It is nice. Conway Emergency Shelter. Oh, I'm going to spin around and show that off. Let me do the block and I'll come okay. back up. Yeah, that's, that is really nice. Okay. So, see, and, and you know, again, I know we're doing Conway, but Little Rock could stand to learn a thing or two from how Conway has set up that shelter. Because they've got Jericho Way in Little Rock, but that's a day shelter. That's not for overnight stays. We're going to double back. Now we are, we should be in Cal, where, where, where are we? Well, Caltown's just a little bit on, well, no, you're right, right into should here. Be right in here. We are kind of on the skirts of it. Uh, we're going to go double back. I'm going to show you this shelter real quick. It's pretty cool. I like what they've done here. And it's off, it's right off Oak Street, so it's easily accessible um, from the freeway. So, you know. <laughs> Miss Pamela said, I was going to send you a megaphone, but Miss Cindy's got that covered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Pamela. Yeah. I, I have to, I, I use that voice very sparingly now that I'm not the police. Oh, man. I remember when you used to use it a lot more. <laughs> I didn't need a... Sorry, next accident, we're number in the phone call 71. Yeah, can they see it? Yeah, yeah they can see it. Yeah. So this right here is the Conway Emergency Shelter. And it, it looks like there's a front building and a rear building, almost like a barracks. And this is nice. This is a nice building. This is way more than what you're, you're usually seeing with emergency shelters. There's usually not a lot of funding for shelters, so they don't have such a nice building. It's nice to see that. I, I really am glad you pointed that out. Now, I believe they close up uh, midday. Everybody has to be in by 7 or 8 o'clock at night. And then by 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock in the morning, they have to be out to go look for jobs. Or, yeah. You know, they don't get to just loiter around. Right. And, and that's an important thing. And, and a lot of folks don't even know how a shelter works. That is that's that is true. And the most of the shelters that I'm familiar with are the same way. You're not you're not just going to hang out. You know, you're, you're there for a purpose at night. And in Little Rock, I can't speak for this one, but they would usually, if you're intoxicated, they're not going to let you no, in the shelter. No, they, I, I bet this one's the same way. I would imagine that they're pretty stringent on the rules about drug and alcohol use. It puts the other clients inside at risk when you allow a drunk or someone that's high in there. It, it can disrupt. Oh. What have we got here? Oh, wow. Tin killer. Well, tin killer. That, you have really blown me away. Thank you so wow. much for that. And I will. I, I will absolutely take care of that. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. I will absolutely take care of that. And I thank you very much for that donation. I will absolutely take care of that. We will get some more. But you know, I'm going to tell you something, and, and maybe you guys know where there's a cheaper place to get gift cards, but I'm going to tell you, I've discovered that I buy mine at Sam's Club Sam's. because they're cheaper they than the value. Yeah, they are. So they actually help you extend the, the gift. Like, I got $30 gift cards, and they were $27 or $28 or something yeah. like that. And that adds up. Okay, so the one gentleman got a blessing. Let's see if we can see somebody else down here. I haven't really been looking too much. Let's see. We're monitoring the radio. There's just nothing happening. Hadn't heard any mention about that Greenbrier pursuit. If there was one, I hadn't heard it. When the weather gets warmer, it's gonna be hopping. You already know. Yeah. Or a full moon. Oh, <laughs> a full moon. We all dreaded those nights. Okay, you hear you heard it from her right now. There is some truth to full <laughs> full moon brings out all the freaks and it really does. <laughs> Ronald Lee said I can hear a poor stranger hearing Cindy's police voice. Sir, come here. <laughs> <laughs> now 
Ow! Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> My kids knew that voice very oh. well. I've seen her in action, folks. I didn't have my cell phone camera. I should have filmed you. You, you were, you have, yeah, you were very effective in the way you do. Your delivery was. Stellar. I mothered them into submission. That's how I, I like to think of it. Well, it's true. I did. I mothered people, citizens, into submission. They, yeah. Yeah. I, I really did love. I do love the fact that I had a great job. Yeah. A great career. Oh, the Greenbrier chase was at noon today. Oh, And you okay. was wondering if there was a video of the chase. Mm, well, I've never tried to get anything from Greenbrier PD. But I, I bet can they always, will. Yeah. can always try. So right here, well here, turn it here, turn it off. I'm not, I'm, whatever. Uh, we are right here is kind of like hotel row but there's but there's some retail over here too so we're gonna see if we see some folks loitering around here maybe it's kind of late for retail though it's pretty much all the shops it's 11 o'clock central now so most of the places have closed uh, buffalo wild wings is hopping though goodness look at this parking lot they do a lot of Sports. Okay. Is there, is there I mean, there's not a parking spot to be had in here. No, it's full. Wow. Oh, it's UFC. Oh, okay. Well, there yes. you have it. UFC. I see. So who's... There you go. If y'all want to watch the fight. <laughs> see the... <laughs> Thank you, Miss Pamela. She said, Miss Cindy, you're awesome. Cool. And what does that mean? Oh, oh I'm what so now? sorry. No, hit F5. So hold on. Okay, Escape. hold on. Oh, I, hit, wait. I hit the computer. Wait. One, two, three, four. F5 will reset it. Well, I thought it would. Hold on. Uh. Sunday. I'm sorry. That's okay. Hold on. You're good. Let me... Let's get that back up there. It might take a second for the chat to come okay. back up. This, this is the slow computer. Well, he can't be doing too bad if he's got an e-bike. Hold on. You got to do this. This is old school. Oh. My new laptop does that. There we too. go. Here we go. Now wait, that chat will come back up. Yeah, he don't need a blessing. He's on an e-bike, so he's he's good. You know, there's a gas station down here. Um, go around and let's go through the shopping the center. Parking lot. Okay. The shopping center. Okay. <clears throat> Just go around the roundabout and we'll go. Oh, they got a Plato's closet here, oh, yeah. don't they? Yeah, they do. And they're having a big sale. That's nice. I'm sorry I messed this up. That's okay. <laughs> you're not going to let me come back, are That's you? Nice. <laughs> you are not. Cindy? A, you're not. F5, right? F5. Yeah, if you can. Yeah, or just click and hit enter or something. I don't have any traffic behind me, so let me see if I can. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You good? Hold on, though. Hold it. Let's get this pulled back up. We still got 172 people in the. We got 172 people in the room right now, That's though. Good. We still got quite a few folks. It'll take a second that okay. chat will pop up. Guys, we'll be able to look at your comments in just a minute. I'm on the old laptop. It needs a minute to load up. It's ancient. The very first laptop that I used for videos on this channel, I still have it. And that is the one we're using tonight. You take care of your stuff and it will last. That's true. Go all the way down to the red light and okay. then there's a gas station, Satterfields, it's a Satterfields. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, I think I know what's that, yeah. It's probably like a 24 hour gas station there, right? Uh-huh. 
Are you supposed to tip the show the chauffeur? <laughs> I love it. Sometimes you find Miss uh, Nolan zero three seven seven asked, "What department were y'all in?" I worked for the Little Rock Police Department for 28 years, and I worked for two years at the State Capitol Police. And I worked in a combined, over the course of a decade, I worked at four agencies. I worked for, let's see, Little Rock PD, Pulaski and Saline County Sheriff, and Arkansas State Police. SD Wheaton 08 ask, so how far are you from Petty Jean Mountain? Oh, 35, 40 minutes. Not too far. Something like that. You got to cross Perry County to get to it. We're, all, we're right off Perry County, so not too far. Great place to go if you've never been. Petty Jean's beautiful. beautiful. Oh, man. Take that from the local Arkansans. We're telling you, go to Petagene Mountain. It's beautiful. You won't regret it. Oh, no, that one's closed, but there's another gas station down here. Yes. Bear's Den. Bear's Den. Somebody's this hanging one. out. I'm oh, do looking. you see him? I'm just looking on the side okay. and see if I can see somebody. Sometimes they'll be hanging out around there. Oh, Bear's Den's down here? Yeah, Bear's Den's on the corner of the red line. Is that Bear Den still up here on uh, where the college is on uh, There is a Bear Ferris No, Street? no, the they, they closed move? that one, but there's one on, there's a Bear's Den at Dave Ward in Salem. Okay, yeah, that uh, that was that was the happening spot. Okay, Allison Maxwell said, Cindy, I'm BFF with Sabrina. Hilton, Blankenship. Oh, wow. Well. well you got to help me with we're, I don't we're know. Is family. that somebody you know? I know the Hilton name because I worked for Heath when yeah. he, he was my lieutenant. I remember when he was a guard. Just Yeah, he's awesome. Just night nighttime guard. He worked downtown midnights. When I was on patrol. There's, there's oh, a gentleman. Oh, 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 let's see. Oh, oh. Let's see how he's doing. Yeah, he's well, That's usually a disqualifier for me. I don't, I don't mean to be that way, but, but he could be hungry. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. I'll do it. That's why I just said it's usually a disqualifier for me. But I, I'll get. I'll get down. It's. You know what? It's about what was your intent. So if your intent was to be a blessing for somebody, that's yeah. all that matters. Yes. It's not about that's right. judgment, right? Hello, hello, good sir. Come over here and let me give you a blessing real quick. I didn't want to use my police voice and scare him. You doing all right tonight? Yeah. Cool, man. Well. Are you hungry? Am I hungry right now? No, honestly, no. Oh, okay. Well, will you be hungry tomorrow? <laughs> well, you know what? You're the gentleman I saw a minute ago, weren't you? Didn't didn't we already give you a gift card? Weren't you down here? A gift card for what? No, we didn't get that. We didn't give this gentleman a gift card. No, we didn't. I'm sorry. Well, I want to give you a gift card, man. Will you accept a gift card if I give you one? Sure. Okay, cool. Do you like Taco Bell, Burger King, or Wendy's, if you had a preference? Right now? No, I just... Like any of them. <laughs> I, I understand that, but I'm saying, like, tomorrow you're going to wake up and you might be hungry. And if you had a choice, what would you choose? Or do you care? All three. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we're going to go with Wendy's tonight. So, the good folks... Uh, the good folks at Wendy's would love to give you some food tomorrow. If I can get it out of here. You got to scratch the card off the back, okay? Yeah, when you go okay. to Wendy's, you got to scratch that off. Okay. There you go, my friend. It's $10. It ain't a lot, but it'll put food in your belly. Yeah, okay. Try to have a good night, okay? Yeah, okay. Take care. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> See, you have to mother them. You do, you do. Well, see, you're the, you're the mother type. I'm yes, not. Yes, I know. I'm the. I'm not the mother type. Laylock said, "If she yells again, I'm gonna have to get my depends on." <laughs> I did not yell. I was very quiet. No, you didn't, and you were very nice. You were 
very nice. Okay, this gas station. Okay. Oh, that's a shell. I thought that was a bear's den. Well. Did it? It must have changed because it used to be the bear's den. No, it still is. Okay. It still is. You see anybody? Uh, I do not. I don't either. I'm going to use there. I do. Oh, that's a bear. I thought that was somebody standing there with a bag on. <laughs> You see that That's right? It's the bear. Yeah, it's they, the it's, bear. Yeah. Well, folks, we found the bear <laughs> at Bear's Den. There you have it. You gonna go in? Mm. No, you don't have to use a public restroom. You can go to my house. I'm all about using clean bathrooms. Yeah, but we don't want randos to show oh, up I at know. your crib. That's true. Because we're live, so <laughs> there's that. And there looks to be some police sitting back here. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Or somebody's fixing to get off work. That's kind of why I was wondering. Who that? I don't know. It's a charger. Mm-hmm. Ain't got no antennas on the back. No, so. it's not police. It's not police. I don't think I've ever been over here to this little shopping center. That's my bank. Centennial. Oh, yeah, me too. I've got the, well, that's one of... Yeah, many. Two two banks that I use, but yes. <laughs> LL said give a law enforcement gift card. <laughs> like a get out of jail free card? I don't think that would work. That would <laughs> if that really worked. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to catch a separate charge. <laughs> Thank you. I'm good. Oh, that's funny. I'm good on that. Okay, so we are. Let's see, that was German Lane right there. Yes, yeah. that's South. No, that's East German, and South German's over on the other side. Those two always throw me off. Me too. They always throw me off. Yeah, Monopoly does have a couple of those get out of jail free cards. Hundred and sixty-nine are still watching. Yeah. We average anywhere from, you know, a hundred to two fifty, three hundred in the live chat at any given time. And even when it gets real late, if I were to go to four or five in the morning, we'd still have about a hundred in the chat. Just... Loud Elvis said cut the feed for the bathroom stop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, we're probably gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mosey on down to the third exit and see if we can find some folks over there that need some help. And we may, you know, we might go a little bit longer, and we'll probably call it a night. Alice Maxwell said, "Police, so southern." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had yeah. to get used to that too. Yeah. Yeah, guilty as charged. I was born in Mississippi and raised in Louisiana and Arkansas, and it was real Southern for even me. The police. Let's go down here. We'll get on the freeway. Yeah, let's, on Skyline. Yeah, let's see if anybody is over at the Waffle House. No, we've already been through here. All right, so yeah, we're going to go mosey on over here to Skyline Drive. There's that gentleman. See, you're right. There's that gentleman from earlier. He did sort of look like him, but that one, the last one was a little scruffier. Yeah. Good night, y'all. If you're needing to go to sleep. Nice to visit with you. I'm in you, love. I'm absolutely in love with this car. And it's it's you're so blessed. I am truly. Um, but I this car is very unique in that there's not many people in in Arkansas that have this car, so it really stands out. And I just love it. It's so smooth and quiet. Interestingly, this car company, Mitsubishi, was 
has 40% ownership in Nissan. Really? So this is built on the Nissan Rogue platform. This car. I'm not a fan of the Rogue, but I like this car. Oh, I know. I, I'm not either, but I'm but I'm digging this. And see, you're in the Mitsubishi Club because you have I owned a Mitsubishi. A Mitsubishi. I, I had a so Montero, you have owned one. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. There's yeah. the gas station right there that's the Roadrunner. Oh, well, okay. Let's go there. It's a 24. Let's go there first. Uh, okay. What, uh, John asked, what car is it? I'm in a Mitsubishi uh, Outlander, 20, Outlander. Uh, 2023. 2023 Outlander. Yeah. Born and raised in Fort Smith. Uh, I love Fort Smith. Well, hello, Fort Smith, Sebastian County. We... My uncle was Detective Clay Thomas, the best man I ever knew. Oh. There's somebody cleaning their windows, but I don't see anybody just hanging out. Yeah, we're just looking. We're just looking. I know where there's some folks. I saw them sleeping here last time. You right did? over here. Oh. Right here in the shopping center. I bet I can probably... Now, I'm not trying to wake somebody I up if they're can. already gone and asleep, though, but let's just see if they're awake. We were at this restaurant right here. I saw them sleeping oh. under the over the overhang there. Okay. We have unknown travel at number three, Jensenlea Road. So let's just see. I can probably get a roll your window, window back there. I just did that oh, freeway noise. Possibly break my window there. They were right here yeah. the last time. Oh, yeah. Sleeping right there. I think I... I don't see you guys, but I don't mm -hmm. have my glasses on. So. It was kind of hard to tell. I couldn't tell. Um, Southern Memphis Bro 27 said he had a Montero, an Eclipse, and an Outland Sport, and he loved them all. <laughs> Oh, South Hi, Memphis, bro. Hey, did you get your hat? If you responded earlier, I didn't see the answer. Sorry about that. Did you get it? He's from Conway, too. Who? South Memphis, bro, 27. Really? Uh-huh. Okay. Sure is. Speaking of Conway. Harlan Man. Digo. Hello from Moultrie, Oklahoma. Yes, he received it. Okay, cool. Good to know. Hope you like it, cause it, I, I, uh, I'm really digging them. Those hats. Twenty nine out of Conway PD. Last name. Good night, Rainbow, loud Elvis. Adam, Mary, yeah, good night, loud Elvis. We'll holler at you on the next time. Next live. There used to be a great restaurant right here. It was called Grandy's. They were right there. Really? Whatever that El I Alcapuco is. Do you remember that? I don't uh, were, I don't remember Grandy's. They were delicious. They were like a Dixie Cafe kind of. Remember Dixie Cafe though, don't you? Oh I love Dixie oh, Cafe. Oh man, I know. They're gone now. Uh, Southern Memphis said, yes, I'm in Conway, Arkansas, Eastern Conway, Arkansas by Texas Roadhouse. That, yeah, we were just over there. Well, hello from Indiana, Greg. Uh, Brad Stowe said, I don't wear hats. But if you do t-shirts, I'd be interested. Ooh. Have you thought about doing t-shirts? Oh, they're coming. No, 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 no. I've got... Okay, let's talk about the apparel real quick. So, have you ever heard somebody use the expression, a, a, a soft opening? Like a store that's going to do a soft opening, right? That means that they're kind of... They're going to open their doors, but they don't have everything they normally sell. Well, that was the kind of deal with me. I, I introduced hats, 
and I'm actively working with the embroidery shop for shirts, and I cannot reveal the design of the shirt that I am going to sell, but oh man, it's rad. I can tell you that. So you can take that for whatever it's worth. In other words, I'm hyping you up. I'm telling you, you were going to want a shirt. <laughs> uh, David Wilding from Western Australia said hello. Well, hello. Thank you from across the world, the, literally across the globe. Hello. And Miss Pamela Colt said, that she's driving from North Carolina to Florida to collect her NSD bumper sticker and my NSD caps so you help wake me up. You and James have a blessed evening and stay safe. She is she is one of our regulars and thank you so much Pamela. I appreciate you always chiming in and, and uh, the card that you sent me in snail mail was amazing and I appreciate that and so <laughs> Yeah, I get fan mail in the mail. I have a P.O. box. So sometimes folks will send me a, uh, they'll send me a card or a letter. Somebody asked, what happened to that new logo you had for a little bit? Yeah, that's a good question. So I had a, a gentleman design that for me, and, and I'm not against using it, but I got so much backlash from folks that said they missed the old logo and it helped distinguish my channel you know as they were in anyway long story short with that I used it briefly it's still around I might even put that baby on a shirt or yeah. a hat or something too and I, and make that an offering as well but I you know after much deliberation I just cannot get rid of the the natural state transparency cursive writing um, that really does distinguish this channel is is what it's been this whole time so it's hard for me to you know that 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 logo doesn't isn't my color scheme does that make sense because we're pink and purple here so but that doesn't mean I'm not going to use it so please don't take that as an insult and yes we'll bring it back and we'll probably put it on some merch good question we're over here on Finley Drive we're on the side of Walmart right now I'm gonna cruise around these little shopping centers around here and see if we see anybody out oh in Walmart shopping centers I know, too. totally because this I is where, about Walmart being right here this is where you would find folks at night over here you know, this used to be full of trucks now there's no trucks I remember when they opened this store. I was here in Conway when this store opened. They had a McDonald's. I thought it was they such did a used to have McDonald's radical concept. When they opened this store in 1992, that's when they opened this. It had a full-scale McDonald's restaurant inside, and I was mind blown because again, I was young. I was 12 years old. That was crazy that you could eat at a McDonald's inside of a Walmart. Now it's just like okay. There's a few people shopping. Remember, at remember Fantastic Sam's, the haircut yes. place. They had one in here too. You get your haircut. You get your haircut. You could go to the bank and you could go to McDonald's. eat at McDonald's. Yeah. That's right. That's funny. And you can tell this is one of the larger super centers. This was oh yeah. That when they built this, they, this was a concept store back in '92. They really went all out on this one. Here's a little interesting factoid. This is Walmart store number five. Really? This, this was the fifth one open? Really? I did not know that. Yep. Well, it when they close one and reopen it somewhere else, the number changes. Goes with it. Oh, okay. So this wasn't five, you know, it was wherever the original Conway store was, then it has evolved to this. But it's store number five. It still is. Huh. Yep. So you're learning all kinds of useless information. I don't see anybody back there. Well, I know there's a, there. Uh, that's it. That used to be the old Motel Six from a long yeah. time ago. Is it Microtel now? Oh, I think that's like a 
local Conway Inn or something is what it said. I don't see anybody out here. Usually there's some people just walking around. Susie said go towards Lowe's. Okay. And we will. There might be somebody to yeah. share a blessing with. Are you talking about near the old Stacy Motel? <laughs> you know where that's at? Stacy, no. The Stacy Motel? Okay. Where they rent by the hour? It's it's like the Ritz. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same deal, I think. Yeah. Well, a long, long time ago, this was the only. There was no interstates through Conway, and this was the this was the the main drag. You see, we're on U.S. Highway 64 right here, U.S. 64. And if you will look. The place I'm talking about called the Stacy Motel was one of those original motels back when there were no interstates. So it's been here forever. And it is right here on the left. The Stacy Motel. Right there. Even though I don't see it. Where'd it go? Is, did they... Wow, the sign's there, but the structure is gone. Did they knock it down? I guess they did. Well, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. So a long, long time ago, there used to be the Stacy Motel, but now there's... The sign's still there. You can see the sign. Yeah, way up there. You're clear right. Do you want to go the side of... There might be somebody behind Lowe's. Well, I see the wood line. They're probably talking about right over there. Oh, okay. See what I mean? A green space. Maybe. Oh, um, I didn't think about that. Maybe. Either. Yeah, probably. Maybe. See somebody walking around back here. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Oh, yeah. Squamous Tarkas said it closed. The Stacy Hill. Oh, yeah, it's probably been gone for a few years. The sign's still there, though. I could see somebody pitching a tent here, sleeping on a pallet or something. No, I'm not going to go. I will not go. You want go me to use my police voice? No, okay. no, no. <laughs> I can wake them up. No, and you know, I'm not going to go crawling around in the woods and try to find somebody. That Sometimes they might they might think you're trying to be hostile, so I don't no. really want to. I don't want to scare them. No, that's not the goal. I don't just see them out walking around or somewhere behind a building or charging their phone. I'm not going to go wake one up to give them a gift card. Yeah. I've never been back here. Yeah, it's not, oh, I thought it was a cut through, but it's not. See, you got a little bit more green space right here, too. So, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if somebody was sleeping back here. Well, you know, for a Saturday night, there's not a lot of foot traffic in Conway. It really kind of surprises me. I thought we would see more. And you know, if you're talking about the first exit, there's nothing over there off Dave Ward in the interstate. That's all Amity, all that in there. There's not a lot there. Susie think. said to the right, they camp right there. So that was that, that, green, was where, that green okay. space is. Yeah. yeah. I just didn't see anybody over there, Susie. We're going to keep looking, though. We're over here at Lowe's. Like, I we, love the plants. We took your suggestion. I know, right? I'm turning into a pumpkin. I don't see anybody. Maybe there's somebody at Sonic. Oh, no. Don't yawn. Stop it. No yawning. Yeah, that's that's always a bad sign. I have to get up and go to church in the morning. Well, folks, we may call it a night before too much longer because I am not seeing anybody walking around. The scanner has gone dead. We do have it turned up, but they're not really saying much right now. Let me turn this off and on one more time so we might 
Might go for a few more minutes. Let's see if we can do one more blessing, maybe, maybe, if we can find somebody. Otherwise, we're just probably going to call it. Good night, Miss Bobby, or Mr. Bobby. Let's see if we have anybody hanging on the bench over here. I don't see anybody. Well, we didn't even have anything to go look at. They, they didn't dispatch any big calls. Uh, Tara S. asked, if, are you in a police car? No, we are not in a police car. No, we're, we are civilians. Um, so we're not on patrol. We're on, well, we are kind of on patrol, but we're not, not in that way. Does that make sense? We're observing. Yeah. We're sightseeing. <laughs> good night, blue collar builds. Oh, Isaac, have a good night. I'll be in touch with you soon about Memphis. <laughs> Stacy Stubblefield said, Yes, Cindy, use that voice and wake them all up. LOL. Yeah, you have. <laughs> I know, I remember one time you let a guy have it at second and, what was that, um, uh, the parking deck there at second and, oh, Lord, wherever Market Avenue. Now that, I don't remember that. I do. <laughs> I was always nice until I wasn't. That, well, but there was a line. There was a line. There was a line, and you know, you would, you were absolutely, you know, I will comp you, what you hear how you hear Cindy talking to you now is how Cindy talked to folks on the street. She was very much so the same way until you crossed the line. And when you crossed it, it was a wrap. I'm telling you. I've seen it. And sometimes you just gotta be that way. You gotta shut down the BS real quick. And to think when I started in law enforcement in May of 1990, I was sort of shy. Yeah. I am not shy anymore. No. Well, I have to say I'm not either. It, you know, I, I can say anything with love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And tact. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that jail did it to me, though. I tell you what, I learned verbal verbal judo skills working at that jailhouse. Yeah. That has lasted me a lifetime. Well, I only worked the... That's what we need to go do the, right there. Let's go to the laundromat. The laundromat. That's mm -hmm. a great spot. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Let's see if we've got anybody hanging out. I want to thank all of y'all tonight. I've had a great time, and... Y'all been wonderful, and I look forward to maybe coming back. Oh, you'll come back. You'll come back. I'll come back. Watch that curb. Oh, I bet he needs a blessing. Oh. Something got. Yeah. Well, he's a. Dropped his. Well, he's a. Uh, well, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he got car. I mean, just because you got a card doesn't mean you don't need a blessing, though. Let's double back. We'll see if. Okay. See if there's something soon. And, and I agree, and I second that. What Cindy just said, you, you viewers are why we're doing this. Otherwise, it would just be us rolling around, and I'm just glad that we can put a camera on it and show you what we're up to. Look. This is La Hirta. Is it any good? You've been we here? call it La Hircha. It's delicious. <laughs> La Hircha. All right. <laughs> well, there, you know, I will definitely try that. I'm always looking for the next place to try. It's very good. And they have a patio and they do karaoke and they have good uh, happy hours. We, I'm a member of a singles group and we meet there and have... Uh, tacos for Taco Tuesday, and they're like a oh, okay. dollar. It's really oh, there great. You go. Yeah. There you go. Well, you know what? A lot of these uh, authentic uh, Mexican restaurants, well, they'll feed you. Oh, was, yeah. Was uh -oh. this not meant for you no, to drive through? No, I don't through? think you can go through there, baby. Yeah, because look at that. Yeah, that's that's like for a motorcycle or a bicycle. All right. Well, not for this car. 
This car will get up and go when I need it to. Sounds like I need to get my brakes looked at. Let's see. How many miles is on it? 22.9. Oh. Yeah. It's only when I back up, too. Okay. I don't know why it does that. Ron or Lee said, will it fit? <laughs> No. We're not even gonna just we're not even gonna try. No, there there is no governmental agency that's given me this car to, to take out, so no, we're not even gonna try. Uh Dino Raps asked what kind of car it's a a Mitsubishi. Oh, oh, I've got a twenty three Mitsubishi Outlander. Outlander, Outlander. You think we ought to mm. No, okay. Mm. But they, they're doing I mean, their laundry. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, I just don't, I don't think that's, I quite love, meet the criteria. I know. Well, I'm excited about going to Costco tomorrow after church. Yeah. What time are you thinking? Uh, Noonish, 1230-ish. Okay. Would that be okay? Yeah, it's totally okay. I'll go get breakfast and be mobile. I went in there, you know, I did, I, I went in there, I had a client that needed me to notarize a document, and it was when they were getting their ABC license there at yes. Costco. I had to notarize that license. Really? So I went, yeah, you know, one of my hustles there for a while, I was doing the, the mobile notary thing during COVID. Yeah. And uh, they had me come out there to the store, and I met the store manager and did a notary there. I told my viewers I was I am a notary public of all things. You are a mobile. I was. And Aren't you still? Yeah, I don't do it anymore, but oh, I really? did it well, you know, I got my start doing that during COVID. Yeah. Because nobody was we got a walker here. Nobody was okay. let's see about that. But nobody was doing you know, it was the it was the most unfortunate thing because people could couldn't get out. Mm. 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 Like, a, like a like a walking mental. Very and, mentally. You know, and yeah. I don't know if that's mm. when we both go. Mm. Mm. Greg Hartwell, where were you a sergeant? No, neither one of us were a sergeant. No, it said. He said he was a sergeant. Oh, I'm asked, sorry, I misunderstood. I asked okay. where he was a sergeant. Okay. Good night, Ronald. Have a good night. He was a sergeant in southern Indiana. Oh, cool. Well, we're not finding anybody. I guess everybody's already gone. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get 98. Yeah. Let's just do that. Well, guys, I've enjoyed it. We're going to call it here. Just put that right here for a minute. I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up here. Rock Creek Combs. I don't think I've ever been back behind I've here. I've never been back here either. This is a little hidden apartment complex I never knew existed. It looks nice. Yeah. St. Joshua. Well, folks, I guess this will be it. We'll wrap her up right here in this hidden apartment complex we didn't know existed in Conway. This is James and Cindy, and we are glad that you tuned in and joined us this yeah. evening. Uh, your your loyalty, your patronage to this channel is, is appreciated. It's noticed, and we are uh, grateful for your presence. So... Just uh, keep us in mind next time when you're watching the YouTubes. We try to put out Arkansas content here on YouTube, and we're glad to do that. Maybe you'll learn you a thing or two about how law enforcement is. And I would ask that you just remain kind. Try to be kind. Uh, we need more kindness in the world, and that's something that I'm uh, really on right now is a kindness kick. So, you know... Just try to be nice to each other. We need to we need to work on that. All as a collective, we need to be nicer to each other. Thank you so much for tuning in, uh, and y'all have a wonderful evening. We'll call it a night.
Take care. Bye.